M0FXB, Kydera 880 or GD88 radio. So when you select zones, you'll just go menu, go up and down till you see zone, push it again here, then select the zone you want up and down like so. There, for example, is my open spot. Okay, and you can change channel. See the control button here. You make sure that it's on the half that you want to control. Now we have got single screen mode on this as well. If you go menu, go up to the cog, keep going up until the cog is highlighted. The cog lights up. Then always look at the top of what you're selecting. Don't look at the grid, look at the title. Backlight, LEDs, display mode, go select and look, we can go to single mode, we can go down and we can turn that on. Okay, if we go back, we've got single mode there. Now you can do this in single mode or dual mode. See if we turn the middle knob here, look, we're changing the channel, okay, within the zone. So a zone is full of channels, you add the channels, yeah. But there is another way of selecting a channel. Let's just say you know it's channel, say, 20, N6LSJ. So if I go out of that, hold down the flat button, and this window will appear. We just go 20. See that? 20. Enter. And it takes us straight there. And it will actually tell you when you hold it down how many channels you've got in that zone. So I think that's quite a cool tip. And there's our single display. And nowadays we've got Talk Alias, which is the green thing. Get the latest firmware and you'll have Talk Alias, which means if they've got Talk Alias turned on on their device, it will transmit the their information that they've decided to transmit without you having to load a CSV file. Otherwise, up and down for the channels. There's our hotspot there. And we just wait for some activity and it will come through. And we can go back to dual mode as well. You know, if you want to select VFO mode, you just hold down the red button. There you are, VFO, you can type and you can even do DTMF. This is the shortcut here of a DTMF and it will do analog and digital DTMF as well. And yes, it does do promiscuous mode. So that will basically means it will listen to all talk groups. All, sorry, all color codes and slots. That's what I meant. And hold down the there. If you want to start creating a channel, Go back, just hold down the flat line. You can start going down the list, creating a channel that you want. I can't see that you can manual dial a talk group. You actually have to create a whole channel. We've set the, this button here. You set it in the settings, hold it down to turn on and off the GPS, look. I mean, it's a very advanced transceiver, though it's not expensive, under £200, $200. It's basically two radios in one. You have v VHF digital, but you can display two at the same time. We're just using half the display there. Very loud speaker, good audio, and that's talk alias in green. Pretty sure when you do get a GPS lock, that goes green. Big menu on GPS, you go menu, go to, I think it's appendix, enter, and let you've got GPS there. And Lots of info, but well, we need a lock. Let's go to that first one. Another GPS one there. There it is there, sorry. And then you have you do have a broadcast radio, I'm sure. There you are. Thank you very much. Um, there's a uh, rocket. It's very, it's just, when I look at this device, there's our DTMF. APRS there. Again, the setup process for APRS as well. It does do APRS analog, which we tested with my FT5, and digital. We get it back on a dual screen. We go menu, go to again. Where is it? Local set, display mode. Go down, and you can display channel name, channel frequency as well. Turn that off. Back out, and you're back to dual mode. And if I fire up my open spot running something completely different on a diff completely different frequency, you will hear both. So there's my open spot connected to YSF. It's showing my call sign. So we're now receiving dual digital. There's not one DMR radio that would do this and there isn't many 
The only other radios that will actually do twin dual digital receive is the, the new Kenwood D75, the FTM 500, the Icon 52. You're getting a lot, a lot for your money with this one. So it's the GD88. You can turn the volumes down separate. There was a complaint that the volume didn't go low enough, but they've definitely solved that now. I turn it right down as low as it will go. It will go to zero. That is very low. Still, it would be nice to get a GPS lot. You've got the time. You're letting you know if you're connected to a repeater, your power rating is there, high and low power. Extensive menu here, look, contacts, messages, scanning, of course, zones, setting. Really fun to use. You could sit there all day with this and you won't need another radio because you can listen to digital and analog at the same time. If you've got an open spot, uh, which cross modes everything, you you would be able to listen to D-Star, DMR, Fusion, all on one set, but you need the OpenSpot 4 Pro to listen to everything. So that's it, just having fun. I'm, because there's a new firmware on this, I've dug it out and I'm playing with it, I'd, and I'd never part with this radio. I know I have extensive radios here, but every one I enjoy one at a time. You know, there's lots of gadgets lying around here. But... I'm enjoying every one, and as I learn, we all learn because I post the videos. Thanks for watching my channel. Please like and subscribe. 7-3, all the best.